Well, some summer, summer weather now hitting Minnesota for the most part. Time to get out on the water for a good day of fishing. This week, Ray and Mandy help us select the right bobber. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about bobbers. If you've been in the bobber shop, you can look and see how many hundreds of them there are. How do you decide what kind of a bobber to use under what circumstance? So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And Mandy's going to start off a little bit with the casting bobber. It's great because actually you can fill this bobber with water and weight it down so it helps you cast it even further or cast it in windy conditions. Um, it's a great bobber to be using for pan fish or crappies or perch. Um, you just run the line through it and to get it to set you simply twist the top, which locks the line in place. Another common bobber that you see on the market, the bobbers have holes in them. And they are designed for little bobber stops, and bobber stops are little lines that you can buy in the store, and you run the line up your fishing rod, you determine what depth you want, and then you can pull a little knot tight, and these bobbers <clears throat> will sit right on that knot. So if you're in nine feet of water and you want to run a six foot bobber depth, you just set it for six feet, and the line goes through the bobber, and then when the fish bites, the whole thing goes down and you set the hook. This is a bobber that you'd probably use for pike fishing with a live rig underneath it. Uh, there again, you can pop the ends up, you slide the line through the top and the bottom and it locks in place. Also for panfish, the smaller is better because a lot of times littler fish will feel a big bobber they might bite and when they start pulling it down they'll let it go because something just doesn't feel natural. So you can get all kinds. This is a, a little pencil bobber, very, very delicate. It's got a tiny little hole in the bottom. You run your line through that hole and you put a little bit of a, a stop on there so that it won't slip through and it really doesn't take much of a bite to pull that down and that's a very good way to trick the fish. Another kind of bobber that's I like, it's got a little bit of a stop that goes into a little piece on the bottom. I'll see if I give this a shot to look at it. Anyway, the, the bobber sits like this. The line goes in here and when you get the depth that you want, you slide that up and it locks it in place. Boom, you're ready to go. So the smaller the better for small fish, bigger bobbers for big fish, but whatever you use, use something stealthy that goes down quickly. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.